Hi there, my name is Erica, and in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the foundational features for effectively using priority matrix with your team. Organizations choose to trust priority matrix for their single source of truth for multiple reasons, including increased visibility for better teamwork, email management support, reporting options, and automatically generated one-on-one -on -one and team meeting agendas to support quick and productive meetings. The first thing to do when you're getting started with Priority Matrix is to add the application wherever you'd like to be using it. You can use Priority Matrix for desktop, web, mobile, and the Microsoft Teams integration, all automatically syncing across platforms. You can decide to log into Priority Matrix with your Microsoft single sign-on option, or you can create a brand new Priority Matrix password. Also be sure to check out our short and to the point training videos on our YouTube page for even more information. Now that you've downloaded Priority Matrix and you've logged into your account, let's set up a few projects, which will become your team's central location for status updates and communication. Start by selecting the Add Project option at the very top of the screen, and then you can decide if you want to create a new project or use a custom template. You'll be able to create and share custom templates with your teammates to help you save time for those recurring projects. When you start with a blank project, you can now set up all of the project details, which you can always update at a later time once the project is created. You can go ahead and title your project, add notes, share the project with the user group, and decide how, how you would like to prioritize inside this project. Once you're ready, hit Create Project at the bottom of the screen. These details will be helpful for your team when you share the projects with them and you're ready to get started collaborating. Once your project is created, now on the right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see all of the project details which you've already set up, where you can now go ahead and rename the quadrants to fit your style of prioritization for this project. You can add more members to the project, and you can set the project's start and end date. When a project is created, it will be private until you intentionally choose to share it with your teammates or a user group. On a task level, you can add action items to your project by using the Add Item button at the top of the project, or you can simply double click inside one of the quadrants where you want to prioritize your item. Once you create an item, the item details will show up on the right-hand side of this project. Here you can set your deadlines, delegate a task, add followers, add notes, share files, and communicate with your team. The item details will play a critical role in sharing status updates with your teammates, and this is also where you can go to review the updates your teammates have shared with you at your convenience. Not only is the Priority Matrix chat box a place where you can actually communicate with your team, but you can also use chat box commands to update your Priority Matrix item quickly. You can use commands to delegate the task, add a deadline or recurring due date, set reminders, and update the progress. Check out the right-hand side of the screen to learn more about using the Priority Matrix chat box commands. Within your Priority Matrix project, you're also going to have a couple different views to see your action items. First and foremost would be the standard quadrant view. Next up, you can use the list format, the single project calendar, the Gantt chart, and the newsfeed to make sure no status updates are slipping through the cracks. Priority Matrix is also going to help you have more effective one-on-one -on -one meetings. By creating a meeting agenda with all your shared priorities, emails, files, and meetings, all in one central place, you can be guaranteed that your meetings will be shortened to the point and no top priorities will be overlooked. You can create a shared priority on the spot, so after the meeting, all important action items have been tracked in Priority Matrix and properly prioritized. We know that when you use a project management tool, it's critical to be able to see where your team is actually spending their time and what is on each person's plate. With your team activity tracked closely in Priority Matrix, we include a place to see where your teammates have been working most recently. 
We're also still respecting your privacy by only showing you data and projects which have specifically been shared with you. For managers, this view can be a tool which helps you get your teammates back on track before a project deadline is missed by clearly showing which projects are getting the most attention. Lastly, Priority Matrix supports email management by allowing you to quickly prioritize your emails. Use the Gmail or Outlook 365 extension to make sure all of your top priorities and emails are tracked within Priority Matrix. When you use Outlook 365, you can even attach an email to a pre-existing task or update an item which you already created. Priority Matrix has a lot of powerful features in here to help you and your team succeed. And this list is going to show you some of the key features which I would definitely recommend checking out as they have been proven to support teams just like yours. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you in getting started with Priority Matrix. Use these helpful resources to continue learning more about Priority Matrix with your team. You can also email us at any time and we'll be more than happy to assist you on a one-on-one -on -one level. Thanks for listening.